Now, Canvas is a wonderful learning management system in many ways, but one of the ways it really doesn't function is extra credit. Canvas was never designed to handle extra credit, and it doesn't handle it well, even though it's slowly making improvements. The way Canvas thinks about the course is, is like a glass, right? Here's your glass, and in the glass you pour in your grades. And when it gets, when you've completed 100% of the course, it doesn't matter what scores you get, you can get 100 on everything, you can get um, 3% or 8% on each assignment, but when you've gotten a grade for every assignment, Canvas thinks, oh, the glass is full, I've hit 100%. And anything left over, it will put in the extra credit. So the way the, the course is set up is if you complete extra credit, like the entry survey, um, that's going to give you an extra 1%. And if you complete the optional assignments, you can get uh, up to two, two extra for that and up to three extra for completing the discussions. But until it reaches the top, until all the regular assignments, not the optional ones, all the regular non-extra credit assignments are, are, are have some sort of grade, Canvas considers the extra credit as just part of your grade, right? And I know that's weird, but that's how it happens. So when you have, at the end of the semester, a grade for everything, for every assignment in the course, whether that grade is, I didn't do the assignment, I'm going to get a zero, or I did very well, or I did mediocre, but as long as you have a grade for every item, then, then whatever is extra, those items will go in this little extra credit cup. It'll overflow, right? So where it's like putting ice in the class. It's going to go in the regular class and be considered, you know, part of what you could have possibly completed until you have something for every assignment, and then it will pop into the extra credit. So if you didn't do, um, you know, like the optional unit one discussion, it may look like, that, that you're, you're missing something in your grade, but it's not really. It's just saying, Canvas is saying, okay, we've passed the point where like, unit one is 15% of the grade. We've passed the point where the person could have a potential of 15 plus one for the extra entry plus one for the, uh, for the discussion. Well, they could have like 16 or 17 percentage points complete. This person is missing 0.5. And so it looks like, oh my God, I didn't do the assignment and my grade went down. No, it's just Canvas is just looking at how much has been completed thus far of what could possibly be completed, including the extra credit. So don't worry. When you have a grade for everything for the course in there, it will populate the rest into extra credit. Um, so for instance, if you have hit the 90% mark, um, and you don't want to do the cord project at the end, which is worth 5% of your grade. Um, there will be a zero placed in there after the unit closes. And, you know, and then you can make that up with the extra credit. So that is, that's totally fine. But until we hit the end of the semester, it's going to look, oh my God, something's, something's missing, or it tells me my grade went down. Now, really, in reality, it's just saying the glass is filling up. You missed an opportunity to contribute to the glass. There's less potentially, less, you know, less potentially can flow into the extra credit bucket at the end, but nothing's wrong. It didn't actually go, your actual grade did not go down. It's just because Canvas is weird. And we've talked to them about this, and people all over the country have talked to them about this, and they still don't seem inclined to change the way they show it. Here's the other thing, and we reminded you about this in the course expectations quiz, but the at the very bottom of your gradebook, you can see how there's 106% total that you can get for this course. Calculate based only on graded assignments. You see how that's clicked on? That's clicked on by default. And what that means is it's going to give you an average of what you've completed, right? All right, so say you've completed all the homework assignments for Unit 1. You got about an average of 90% on all of those. But um, when we have it set so that when a unit closes, um, when it, anything that's not doesn't have a grade and anything that's late will get a zero in it. So that will all of a sudden look like, oh my god, 
My percentage went down. My, my, my average went down. Nothing happened to your grade in reality. You want to unclick this. Um, you want to unclick calculate based on assignments and view Canvas as filling up from the bottom. You know, you've completed this bit, but you didn't take the opportunity to get the 0.5 from the optional discussion. So it's just say it's calculating that that 0.5 into your average because that's what this little checkbox do, does. That's why we tell you to unclick it in the course expectations because it's confusing and it's irritating and we don't want you to have to deal with it, but you do. So um, think about ca Canvas that way as, as a glass where you have the chance of putting in some extra credit ice cubes and anything that's left over when you've completed everything will flow into your extra credit bucket and, and you'll be good. Um, so um, I encourage you to relax. We have everything well in hand. Just keep uh, doing your work. Now, one thing to keep in mind, and for those of you who've already signed off, you're gonna miss it. As I said, when, um, when a unit closes, we have anything that doesn't have a grade gets a zero. That does not mean for the homework assignments that you cannot go back and retry them or uh, th that you can go back and retry them, right? So for all assignments, um, unless they specify, like the creative projects or the exam, you can go back and do those over and over again. And that includes assignments that you skipped and got a zero on. You can still go back and do that assignment and earn extra points and increase your grade and get a better score on individual homework assignments. So don't panic about those zeros. What those are meant to do is essentially to fill up the grade book and make sure the extra credit functions properly. So you get those extra points so you can make decisions about how you want to finish the course off or things you might want to spend less time on, spend more time on. That's for, for your benefit. But it is confusing, and so that's what this video is for. Now, please let us know if there's something that you don't understand, and we'll be happy to get back to you about it. Um, and good evening.